Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We're at Moab, an amazing place in Utah and it's gonna be a scorcher later on. So I'm actually in this cave right now looking for some snakes. In the morning hours, right after the sun comes up, oftentimes this is the time you find snakes. We could find some king snakes, some gopher snakes in this area and there's actually a small species of western rattlesnake that come from this area. It's gonna be a scorcher later, 105 plus degrees. So once that sun comes up and really gets hot, Snakes aren't gonna be out, but there are some lizard species here too. In particular, the whip tail, the spiny tail, and my personal favorite, the western collared lizard. So we're just gonna look around for some snakes now, look for some lizards later. Just have an amazing day trying to see some cool reptiles. It's getting around to midday right now and we're at Slick Rock. You can obviously see the topography kind of changes, much more smooth, not really great for rattlesnakes and stuff like that, but just wanted to come out and see this place and see how amazing it is. Now we may find some lizards out here because as the sun is coming up and heating up, lizards will oftentimes come out in the rocks, but even if we don't find anything, it's about the journey and look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. Certainly up here, we're really not gonna find much, but when it get into a little crevice like this, the thing that's nice is that it's starting to heat up today. Uh, Definitely the midday is getting warm, but here we've got a lot of kind of foliage and we've got areas where snakes and, and other reptiles can still hide. So I'm just gonna have a poke around here and see if we can find anything. And as the heat of the day is, is climbing, uh, these type of opportunities right here, these dens, are really where a lot of the rattlesnakes and other snakes are gonna go hide. Where the lizards come out to bask, these guys are gonna get down in here. So just taking a look in here, don't see anything yet, but hey, you know, it's not always about catching things. It's just being out in nature and enjoying the, the process. It's like fishing, right? Some days you go out fishing, you don't catch anything, but it's still amazing. So we just keep on looking. Hopefully we'll get lucky, but even if we don't, it's gonna be an amazing adventure. We found our first reptile, guys. This is a spiny tail right here. You see him running? He's gonna go up in that crevice in a second. Look at him. What a beauty that guy is. Oh, I missed him. These guys are so fast, but that's awesome. Found our first reptile. Again, you're gonna see like northern whip tails, spiny tails, and then I'm hoping I can see some western collared lizards here. Oh my God, that's awesome. We saw a reptile, how cool is that? Look at over here, look at over here guys. That's another spiny tail. Let's go ahead, get close. You gotta sneak up on these guys super quick cause you can see how fast he is. Oh, he's up on that rock. All right, I'm just gonna really get as close as I can quietly. Just kind of sneak up on him. Let's go ahead and get as close as we can, slowly getting close. All right, here we go. All right, oh, he got away. These guys are just too fast for us. Guys, I was so close to catching that lizard. Again, I don't really want to stress him out and, and grab him and hurt him or anything. I just want to see him and then let him back on his way. And this place is just teeming with life, of course. You've got the sun out here that is really starting to bake up. In the last half hour, it's gone up a good 10, 15 degrees. The desert sun is on us. But you get into an area like this and it's just probably 15, 20 degrees cooler. So it's going to be teeming with life with all the animals that are out in the sun, sunning the shelf, then coming here to hide from the sun. And look at this cave system here. Look at how far back it goes. Guarantee you if I could get back in there, there's some stuff getting away from the heat of the sun. What an incredible thing here. And I tell you what, guys, I don't get out in nature nearly enough because I'm so busy. But when I am, I feel like I'm in my element. This is just so absolutely amazing. We haven't even reached heat of the day yet. We're getting there. It's over 105 degrees outside on the ground. And back here in the cool, look at this, 74 degrees. That gives you an idea, 30 degrees cooler in the shade where these caverns are. It's really amazing to be out here. Finally caught our first little reptile here in Moab. Uh, this little spiny tail. 
what a cute little dude. I tell you, these guys are fast, they're agile. Uh, it gave me a little bit of a run for my money, I'll be honest with you, but even something just as little and cute as this is still just such an accomplishment. It feels so awesome. It's been a while since I've caught a lizard out in the wild, so I'm excited, but I'm gonna go ahead, just let this guy back go exactly where I found him, and then keep on looking for other stuff. So I actually found that lizard right under this rock, and that's where I put him right back. And one of the things that's kind of a, a code when you're out there herping for reptiles or animals or anything, even fishing for that matter, anything that you kind of, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> any, any of the water that you pick up, put back where you yeah. found it. <laughs> okay. Actually found that little dude right under this rock and that's where I put him. And there's kind of a code when you're heading out herping, searching for animals, is wherever you find something, whether it's a stump, a rock, a piece of whatever it happens to be, always put it right back where you found it. Again, these animals know their area. And when you kind of jumble their air up, it can actually mess them up pretty good. So when you flip a rock, put that rock exactly where you found it. Laura's gonna give a go at trying to catch this lizard. She's pretty stealthy, look at her moves. She's done this a lot, yeah. Every time she walks, the lizard gets a little further away and there it goes, the lizard's gone. <laughs> the thing that's amazing here at Slick Rock is that the fact that the rocks are so absolutely smooth. Once upon a time, there was actually water that was molding these rocks, which I find absolutely incredible. But I tell you, every 10 minutes that goes by, the temperature keeps going up. It's getting warmer and warmer in here. Now it's good for the lizards to come out, but all the snakes have certainly went away and cooled off for the day. Our next chance to potentially see some snakes out here will certainly be at dusk. Take a little break from the hiking and uh, we stopped at this rock shop fossil place. I love rocks and I actually love fossils. As a matter of fact, if any luck, later today we're gonna go see some dinosaur tracks. I am so stoked on that. I hope it happens. So regardless, let's just look and see what we find here. Some really cool stuff, look at this. Lori loves rocks too. She's always collecting rocks. Am I? You are. You're, am I? <laughs> you are. You're a rock star. <laughs> They're cool, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, see, here we go. Little geodes. Yeah. Look at Lori. Fool's gold. Remember this? I used to love this. As a kid, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, this was like my favorite thing ever. I mean, could you imagine finding that? That would yeah, be Yeah, you insane. only get the one with the little flakes. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that, right? Isn't that awesome? Like that. Oh yeah, that oh is actually gosh. awesome. That's cool. I told you, I'm in heaven with this. You know, if I wasn't going to be a, an animal guy, I really wanted to be a paleontologist. That was the thing when I was a kid. I was really into paleontology. So seeing all these fossils and all these amazing finds, there's bones, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, this, I, I'm, I love it. I mean, it's a nice break from the heat uh, and see a bunch of cool stuff. All right, guys, I'm pretty excited. We are going to go ahead and cut a clutch of dinosaur eggs today. We have to stop off on the way to see some dinosaur tracks for these petroglyphs right here. I mean, how awesome is that? There's stuff over here, there's little people. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Maybe that's a snake, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, that is pretty incredible. Not 100% sure how old these are, but still just think about this. Probably thousands of years ago, this was actually done and here we are standing on the side of a road checking it out. I mean, it's I, things like this. I realize this isn't a, a reptile or animal related vlog, but it's a cool travel vlog that I'm absolutely enjoying. And I wanna know if you guys are enjoying this. You know, Go down in the comments below, let me know if you love this type of stuff, but it's a, it's, it's a blast to me. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching Ancient Aliens on History Channel, and uh, that ancient alien theorist would say, that that's an alien, that, that's an alien there. Lawyer, what do you think? Is it cool or what? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy to think. I wonder how old it really is. I know. Again, things like, I love this type of stuff. It's so awesome. Dude, Jay. What up, dude? Dude, look at this, man. That guy right there. Dude, that's it's me. That is 100% you. Look, he's got a camera. He's got a camera, big feet. Big old feet. I look like big, a triangle. Yeah, you look like a triangle. Wow, I didn't, that's awesome, dude. Isn't it cool? These are my people. We're definitely at the heat of the day now. There's spots that we've shot that have been 150 plus degrees. Actual air temperature is probably, I don't know, 105. And we're hiking about 1.2 miles because my love of reptiles started with a love of dinosaurs. And uh, we're going to see dino tracks. I've never seen dino tracks before, so this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. And take a look at this. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. Look at this. Those are dinosaur tracks. I mean, what in the world? I have never in my life thought that I would be this close to dinosaur tracks. I mean, think about that. Hundreds of millions of years ago, a dinosaur was right here, right where we're standing. Wow, I tell you what, 
it's worth every ounce of energy it takes to get to these places because this is absolutely insane oh my god not exactly sure what dinosaur it was but who cares i mean a freaking dinosaur was standing right here oh my god it's one of the coolest things i've ever seen in my entire life You know, this trip as much about trying to catch snakes and reptiles was really just about enjoying nature. We're actually in Arches National Park. You can see an arch way off in the distance. This place is unbelievable. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh. And again, in the heat of the day, you're really not gonna catch much. So this was all about just doing some hikes. Lori actually stayed back in town with a friend. So they're doing some kind of touristy souvenir shopping, whatever. Me and Jay over here, we're just hiking up here in Arches, just enjoying this absolutely amazing day. And that's the thing, guys. I'm always encouraging you. Get out there and love life. Love the adventure. I mean, look at this place. Wow, what? This is, it's a surreal. And uh, to me, this is what life is about. You know, you work hard, but at the same time, just breathe in the moment, live in the moment, and just absolutely adore the beauty around you. Oh, what a day. We still hopefully will find some more reptiles later when the sun starts going down, but as for now, just hiking and enjoying this beautiful park. Arches National Park is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been on the entire planet. It was a pretty brutal hike, a good mile and a half uphill a lot of the ways to get to Delicate Arch, but this is an absolutely beautiful sight. Sitting on the edge of about a thousand foot drop off, just kind of admiring this unbelievable work of Mother Nature. Wow. This place is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, I am having the time of my life. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just, it's, it's unbelievable, people. Oh my gosh. It's like a little private oasis out of the sun. Beautiful, literally top five coolest places I've ever been in my life. Wow. And here it is, guys, the Sand Dune Arch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. Just climbing through this arch and I saw this amazing, beautiful agama down there. It's the biggest lizard we've seen all day. Haven't really seen a whole lot of variety. Really wanted to see collared lizards, but this is a beauty, so I'm gonna do the best I can do to go ahead and sneak up on it. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. It's just gotta be really slow and methodical. He's such a smart lizard. Literally, as I'm crawling towards him, he's just, just pulling away a little by little. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. Maybe I'll be able to get him. Oh, wait a second, he just got a bug. He just got a bug. All right, now this is my time. This is my time. Let's go. Oh, gosh. This thing is so smart. It got into the rocks. Oh, well. What an end to an absolutely amazing day, and what a view behind me. We're going to just spend the time here and see the amazing sunset. What a day. And listen, I know it was a little disappointing that we didn't catch more reptiles. I mean, we did catch one lizard. We saw some other lizards. No snakes. But you know what? It's like they say, the worst day of herping is still better than the best day in the office, right? And actually, Jay always says he's an experienced collector. So this was an experience. I'm happy we collected. It was amazing. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, and if you want to see more content like this in the future you know listen it was still an amazing adventure and i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you have an amazing day tomorrow we head back to detroit and back to the reptarium at bhb i love you guys so much be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you guys tomorrow